Hey, how are you? Y yeah, you, how are you? Like, like if you had to give me an emoji for how you're feeling right now, which emoji would you use? Or better yet, if you had to tell me how you're feeling through a song, what song would you choose? At different parts of the day, we all can feel different emotions. Like I know for me in the mornings, I usually feel tired and sad that I'm not in my bed when I have to get up. Uh, during the midday, I feel hangry. For those who don't know, it's hungry and angry because we're hungry. Um, and at dinner time, I'm the happiest because I'm eating. Eating has a lot to do with how happy I am. And then there are some times of the day where I don't know what I'm feeling. Like a painter's palette, when we're younger, we start off with the basic emotions, happiness, anger, and sadness. But as we get older, our emotions become more complex, more intense, and that's okay. It's okay to feel emotions. It's okay to have feelings. It's actually super healthy to feel emotions. Now, we all deal with emotions in different ways. Some people hide from emotions because they feel that it makes them look weak to feel emotions. Some people feel that their emotions are gonna last forever. Some people allow their emotions to control them. It's okay to feel emotions, but it becomes a problem when we let those emotions control us. Did you know that Jesus felt emotions? Yeah, like Jesus, he was fully God, but fully human. He was fully God in the sense that he could perform amazing miracles in the lives of those he came across. But he was fully human, meaning he felt emotions. John eleven thirty five 35 simply says, Jesus wept when one of his friends died. Jesus wept. He felt sadness. Jesus knows that we feel intense emotions on the daily basis. Now, where do emotions come from? Well, they come from the inside of us. They come from our heart. Let's look at what it says in Mark. In chapter 7, verse 20, it starts, He went on, What comes out of a person is what defiles them. For it is written within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come. Sexual immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance, and folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. The emotions that we feel, the anger that we feel sometimes, the hurt that we feel, the, the joy that we feel, it all comes from our heart. What we must do is guard ourselves from allowing our emotions to control our action. Now, Jesus knew that we were going to feel some intense, complicated emotions, and he created a way of helping us. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus said, when you're feeling those emotions that want to take control of you, turn to me. Now, we always say turn to Jesus, but what does that look like? You can turn to Jesus in many ways. You can Go to him by, uh, by, by, by looking in the Bible and seeing what the Bible says. Praying is a way to go to Jesus. Or, or singing songs of worship is a way to go to Jesus. Sometimes just simply talking aloud as if to a best friend in the room. That's how you can go to Jesus. Sometimes going to Jesus can look like going to a trusted adult and asking for help. There's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I have to go to my mom when I don't understand things. We can turn to Jesus and ask him for help with those crazy big emotions. Jesus isn't scared of big emotions. He embraces them and he wants to help us. When we feel like those emotions want to take control, Jesus says, let me take control. I want you to think of what are some emotions and feelings that you have a hard time controlling. For me, Sometimes I have a hard time controlling my fear and my anger, depending on the situation. How can we 
best not allow these emotions take control of us? What are some things that help you with not letting those emotions take control of you? Most importantly, I want you to remember to be kind to yourself. It's completely okay to feel emotions. I feel emotions on a daily basis. All of our adults feel emotions. Jesus felt emotions. It's okay to feel emotions. What we have to be careful is, is not allow them to control our actions. But know that you're not alone. And Jesus said he is going to help you figure out and work with those emotions. Let's go to him in prayer. Dear most gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, sometimes it's hard with the emotions that we feel. Sometimes we get really angry and sometimes we get really sad and we don't know what to do. Lord, when we feel those intense emotions, fill us with your peace and fill us with your spirit. Lord, embrace us with your loving arms and let us know that you're there and that you're willing to help. We thank you, God, that you're always present with us. We thank you that you're always our Emmanuel, our God with us. You are best friend that's always there and we will forever give you the glory the honor and the praise in your name we do pray amen hey guys remember your emotions don't have to control you it's okay to feel them but we just have to work on not letting them control us that takes time it takes some work but you have a heavenly friend there to help you i love you i'm praying the best for you But most importantly, the God of heaven loves you. All right. See you later, guys.